Look what you can do, man. Welcome back. I'm Fox at Foxy Games underscore UK. Subscribe to the channel and follow via Twitter for your source of aggregate news, rumor, and video game discussion with an emphasis on PlayStation spanning a variety of platforms. If you're new to the channel, let us know how you found us and please remember to thumbs up the video if you like. Views expressed in our videos are those of third parties and do not necessarily represent the views of Foxy Games UK. All relevant links can be found in this video's description. Okay, straight into our first news story. Courtesy of PSU.com, GTA 6 may have a female lead character and could be set in Vice City during the very extravagant 1980s. GTA 6 will apparently feature a female lead character for the first time in the series, according to the latest leak from the No YouTube channel. The Rooster Teeth channel claimed to have gathered fresh details about Rockstar's new Grand Theft Auto game from an inside source who they're fairly confident about. Now the note also claims that the backdrop to Grand Theft Auto 6 will be Vice City but players will also have the option to fly over to South America to play some missions, now, referring to Rockstar's next game in the popular series as Project Americas. They also say that the Grand Theft Auto 6 release date will be around 2021 or 2022. Rockstar are renowned for keeping its work well hidden from the public so the latest leak could be complete nonsense. However, this isn't the first time that a return to Vice City has been mentioned. In fact, we've covered it on this very channel before some years ago. Only Rockstar really knows which direction the series is heading, but a Vice City location remastered and revamped on PS4 Pro and PS5 could be a beautiful thing indeed. Now, a previous Grand Theft Auto 6 leak suggested that actor Tim Neff was working on motion capture for the new Grand Theft Auto game, though he soon backtracked, saying that it was merely a typo on his resume. <laughs> Other rumors have included the new Grand Theft Auto game will be set in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Rockstar is busy working on Red Dead Redemption 2. Like the latest Grand Theft Auto game, the sequel to the Wild West adventure will have a major focus on the multiplayer experience as well as the single player. Now the release date for the Red Dead Redemption 2 game has been confirmed as October 2018 and may include a battle royale mode so don't go expecting GTA 6 until well into 2020 or 2021. Now it's got to be said Vice City is still my favorite in the series closely followed by San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 5. Vice City arguably has the very best soundtrack in video game history. But then again, I would say that I'm an 80s baby. But I guess the overriding question is, where would you like to see the next GTA game set? And the rumor that the main protagonist is going to be female, which incidentally makes no difference to me, but let us know your thoughts in the comments. Sticking with PlayStationUniverse.com for the time being, PS5 may be able to play PS4 games, sourced by Free Patents Online, tipped off by would-be industry insider Tidex. Here's the full story. PS5 backwards compatibility is looking a little more likely after a US patent was updated by Sony Interactive Entertainment America, updated on February 13, and it clearly states backwards compatibility testing of software in a mode that disrupts timing. This isn't confirmation that the PS5 will be able to play PS4 games, but it could be an indication that Sony is conducting some kind of backwards compatibility testing. It could be a combination of PS3 and PS4, maybe the whole entire machines. Now, will PS5 play PS4 games? It looks like the patent was originally filed in 2015, a couple of years after the launch of PS4, which currently doesn't allow PlayStation, really PS4 gamers to play older games unless they're using the PlayStation Now streaming service. Sony Interactive Entertainment Europe's Jim Ryan made it clear that the company had no plans to change its stance on the feature back in 2017, although he was really referring to bringing PS3 games over. Though he admits it's a much requested feature from fans, he believes that it's a feature that wouldn't actually be used that much. Speaking to Time Magazine, Ryan said, here's a quote, when we've dabbled with backwards compatibility, I can say it's one of those features that is much requested but not actually used very much. Ryan told Time. He went on to say that, 
I was at a Gran Turismo event recently where they had PS1, PS2, PS3 and PS4 games and the PS1 and PS2 games, well, they looked ancient. Like, why would anybody play this? Well, I can think of a dozen reasons, Ryan, but I'm not going to go into them here, but I'm sure gamers like me, retro gamers as well, would know exactly where I'm coming from. Now, with the PS5 release date expected to be sometime in the next couple of years, there is rumours that Sony may be planning to reveal its next generation console at E3 2018. Uh, highly unlikely, I would say, as I've reported before, the first quarter of 2019, a grand reveal like they did with PS4, and... Uh, Possibly a late 2019 launch or going into fiscal 2019, which incidentally ends on March 31st, 2020. So until the big reveal, we'll just have to wait and see whether our shiny new PS5 can play PS4 games. But I can almost guarantee it as Foxy Games UK that PS5 will play PS4 games. Okay, so the argument is dead there, but... It's an interesting article nevertheless. So in a recent PS5 survey, a company working on gathering market data for Sony asked consumers what their hopes were for the specifications and overall look of PS5. Do you want to be able to play PS4 games on PS5 without having to string them? Of course! But don't let me put words in your mouth. Let us know in the comments below. And in our last news item, dear oh dear, not this again. Has Detroit Become Human had a visual downgrade? Well, there's a bit of a shite storm on the internet. Outrage is brewing due to a user-created video. User-created video? <laughs> I'm already justifiably suspicious. Anyway, judging by this user video, it seems to show that Detroit Become Human has had a significant visual downgrade since it was seen in 2016. 2018 images of Detroit are blurry, textures are flat, and actually does look significantly worse than what's been shown by Quantic Dream before. The source for the 2018 footage seems to be Detroit Become Human official release date trailer, which has been uploaded to various YouTube channels, but crucially, not by Sony. So why does the official release date trailer look comparatively lower quality? Well, stand by as this hoax gets exposed. A second time bar has been spotted by eagle-eyed gamers in the video. The official release date trailer on YouTube has never been posted by Sony. It's not on Sony's YouTube channel. In fact, the last Detroit video is from Paris Games Week. The video of the alleged downgrade knocking about the idiot net is actually a screen capture of video playing on the PlayStation Store no less, and you can clearly see the L2 and R2 controls at the bottom. Now, it must be said videos shown on the PlayStation Store from your console aren't exactly the best quality to start with, and once you shove that through three more rounds of video video compression, it won't look anywhere near as defined as playing the game natively or even in its original trailer format. So no, there hasn't been a downgrade back to the PS3's era, it's just a thoroughly terrible source. No doubt some elaborate attempt to yet again downplay, downgrade and throw another AAA PS4 exclusive under the bus. It seems the salt is real and you should expect more of these shenanigans as we get closer to other key ps4 AAA releases such as god of war and spider-man and death stranding you name it you can definitely expect this nonsense to continue with the last of us part two we've had it time and time again with many other ps4 games before uncharted 4 gt sport hell even the order 1886 was accused of being downgraded and when that wouldn't stick they, you know who, resorted to spreading lies en masse, that PS4 games are more like interactive movies than traditional games. I'm not sure these people have even contemplated the damage they're doing to the honest, hardworking developers creating these games. You are literally sabotaging these game creators' projects. Imagine you owned a swanky upmarket hotel, but a subset of humanoids decided for whatever reason to slander your establishment and fewer people stayed there think it over. And now, leading up to Detroit Become Human, we are starting to hear downgrade, interactive movie, and diabolically, some are even propagating Detroit Become Human is a domestic abuse simulator. No thanks in part to the media and useless career politicians trying to justify their bloated taxpayer salaries. Well, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. 
because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion in the video comments. And for more PS4, Nintendo Switch and Xbox One coverage, subscribe to Foxy Games UK. If you found any of the information in this video at all useful, why not hit the like button and help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing this video. And for just one USD or one UK pound or equivalent, become a member by joining Foxy Games UK Patreon and help us grow. You can find the link in the video's description. Thanks for your kind support. And so there we have it. Until next time, remember, play games, not corporations.